What's up guys? So I'm in the truck again this morning. I'm uh finishing up some shopping and all that stuff, you know, for the holidays and all that. I got to uh got to run to the shop and handle a few things this morning that I didn't do yesterday. Um uh you know, even working on the weekends. Sunday is uh you know, I got to kind of break it up. It's a busy month, so we got to kind of break up the work and get it in where I can. But uh Jumped in the truck this morning. I'm actually gonna head over to Harbor Freight. Gotta pick up a few things. Um, yes, the Auto Shop Life shops at Harbor Freight too. Uh, I'll do a quick haul and show you guys what I get from there and all that stuff. As Soon as I get there, we'll go back to the shop and just uh, go through some of the stuff. I'll show you what I get from there and all that stuff. Um, it's good, Harbor Freight's good for stuff. It's, you know, I don't necessarily like uh, some of their tool lines, the hand tool lines and all that stuff, but, you know, as a shop owner, you know, some of the shop stuff and all that stuff I do get from there. Um, some of the stuff I'll get from online and all that if it's a good vendor and all that stuff. I'm actually working with a vendor in California with, uh, they do lighting and, and, and all that stuff, lighting and fluids and all that stuff. We're trying to get a deal going through where I start getting supplied from California. But uh, we're going to head on over to Harbor Freight, pick up a few things, go back to the shop, knock out a couple things, uh, figure I'd take you guys with for the ride. So catch you guys in a bit. So I'm back at the shop, did a quick haul, actually uh, filming on this new camera, I notice, uh, I notice it's a little darker and it seems like it, it's uh, taking a little bit to focus. I don't, know, I don't know if I like it yet and I don't know how the sound quality is. This will be the first one with the new camera. So, but, uh, so I'm heading over to Harbor Freight and uh, I pass a Home Depot. So what do I do? I gotta stop at Home Depot too. You know, they got tools there, so it's kinda hard. It's kinda hard to pass up the place, you know, especially uh, when you got time to go there and everything. Um, actually left the scanner on here. So I stopped over there. I actually picked up some, uh, some of those pliers, the Milwaukee pliers. I, uh, you know, looking at the pliers I got for this month's giveaway, um, you know, it's, it's hard, it's hard to resist. I had to get a couple sets myself, so I picked up a few of them, but let's bust this stuff open and show you guys what I got from Harbor Freight and stuff. Set you guys up on the tripod. All right, guys, so I'll show you what I got from Harbor Freight first. This is, you know, they, it, looks like, it looks like they bumped up their, uh, their tools there. You know, I haven't been there probably, probably in six or seven months, but uh, it looks like they're, they're steadily trying to get better. You know, they're getting new brands in there, uh, with these tools and uh, you know they're stepping them up some of the stuff look pretty quality you know I personally one uh, don't want the stuff but you know for for you guys out there looking for a, you know a decent tool at a good price I mean give them give them a try you know the worst thing it won't work out for you most of the stuff's limited warranty there anyway so you know if it gets the job done you're making money off of it hey more power to you you know you, you gradually gradually get the tools that you need you know you talked to me 10 years ago 12 years ago yeah I shopped at Harbor Freight yeah I bought tools from there and, and made a lot of money off the tools that I bought from there had good and bad luck with the tools but you know those tools made me who I am and got me to where I am today so you know not knocking Harbor Freight I do shop there but mostly for stuff like this I got the uh, microfiber tiles pretty nice it's like uh, what is this uh, 12 pack I get these from a few different places, um, but I saw these there, so I had to pick these up. Always got to have microfibers on hand. And then I got a bunch of uh, different size zip ties. Obviously, you know, Harbor Freight's good for zip ties. These ones aren't bad. If you get them when they're fresh, I've had them where they're kind of dry rotted and they break, but I got all different sizes here. So I could, uh, you know, the fix all. This is the uh, this is the modern guy's uh, duct tape. So got a bunch of zip ties for the zip tie drawer, and then I got some uh, painters tape for masking. 
when I paint stuff, you know, calipers or panels and things like that, you know, I do, I do paint and all that stuff every now and again. But uh, this is great. Or protecting, you know, finishes when you're working on stuff. You don't want to scratch people's fenders and all that. You can lay some tape on there and then use a fender cover. And then I got uh, a couple uh, locking clamps. So when I'm doing surgery on these cars, these are a couple smaller sizes that I got. I use hemostats on certain things, um, you know, soldering wires and just holding stuff back sometimes when you're working on a car. Um, these work great. I actually had to use a long pair to extract a, a, a piece of boot out of a spark plug hole one time and I couldn't get pliers down in there. They were too big. So I used hemostats and it pulled the rubber out perfectly. So always have these on hand. Great tool. So spent about 40 bucks there, 41.59. Um, you know, I think the most the most was the microfibers. They came in at 11.99, but zip ties, two bucks a piece, dollar a piece. I mean, you can't beat it. I got all different sizes, better than buying a variety. So, you know, I know what I'm grabbing. I don't have to search through it. So these will go in the zip tie drawer. And the zip tie drawer was getting kind of uh, bare. I really needed these. So, and then I also get, you know, electrical tape from there, things like that. Sometimes the glue is there. They, got, they sell Gorilla Glue there and all that stuff. I'll pick that up sometimes when I need glue, but I'm pretty good on all that stuff. I'll get my glue sticks there for the glue gun. Um, I mean, it, it's a, it's a great place for stuff like that. You know, tool wise, not so much. I, I don't really, I don't really like getting something there unless it's something I haven't seen and you know, they got it, I'll give it a try, but they have bumped up their game there. I mean, they, their, their tool game is getting strong. It, it's better than it was. So not knocking that at all. So, so the Home Depot run, I got, uh, I picked up some more batteries for the M12 line. Got these, uh, Got to stock up on batteries. I mean, you can never have enough batteries. I got the three amp hour batteries. Um, Milwaukee's uh, tool prices are going to be going up, especially their uh, their battery power tool prices. So I figure I'd stock up on some batteries. There's a couple couple things I want. Um, the M12 grinder. There's only a few other things that I want. A little. I, there's a little vacuum cleaner that I want. I think a little dustbuster vacuum cleaner that I'm gonna that I got my eyeball on. Um, a leaf blower I'm gonna pick up for the house, and then. Uh, what was the other one? The grinder, the leaf blower, and the, um, oh, the half inch, they got a half inch ratchet, a battery ratchet. I figure I'd pick that up too. Not that I'd use it too much, but figure I'd grab it before their prices go up. You know, uh, usually means the stock's gonna drop a while and then the stock's gonna probably go back up. So if you guys got stock in Milwaukee, buy low, buy low, sell high. So, but I picked up the three amp hour batteries, the dual set, and then I got, I got the pliers. One of the pliers I got, the Milwaukee pliers definitely seem nice, um, but I like that they're red. They match the rest of the stuff. They match my snap-on pliers and everything else. But I picked up uh, all the sizes. I didn't get the vice grips because um, I happen to just like the Irwin Grace vice grips. I don't need the thick comfort grips that they have, but I got these hex jaw ones. These things look pretty nice. I mean, they're built well. They got the same, uh, you know, Nipex style butt locking button. Um, that just means you need, you need two hands when you go to work these things, but you know, they are nice so they don't slip or if you're holding the one end, it doesn't fall and uh, get out of adjustment. But these seems really cool. I mean, they wrap around it. They're definitely going to get a bite. So, you know, they're going to mar the fastener, but you know, when you got those stuck ones or strip ones and things like that, they seem good. Part number on this one, 48, 22, 62, 10. And this was for the uh, 10 inch ones. And then I also picked up the uh, eight inch ones, the little guys. So get these in the wrench drawer. These things seem good. Part number on the six, eight inch one is 48, 22, 62, 08. So seem nice. And then they also got that electrician reamer thing. Not that I'll be using that, but maybe hammer side. Every tool's got a hammer side. So got these two. And then I picked up all three of the, uh, the straight jaw pliers. Real nice, but they definitely seem built well. You guys out there using Milwaukee pliers, you know, I've heard real good things about them. I, like I said, I personally haven't owned them up till now, but we'll see where they go. We'll see, we'll see if I use these things and uh, I got a variety now and uh, we'll see which one prevails. Maybe I'll do a review, you know, between these and uh, Nipix or something, Snap-on. We'll review all of them, see which one prevails. But the dual set one, they sell these singly too. You got the six and 10 inch one in here. 48 part number 48 22 63 30 i think this was like 17 bucks or something like that and then we got the the 12 inch ones 
uh, 48, 22, 63, 12. But definitely seen they're built well. And then they also got the, the reamer side and all that stuff. These, I don't think, have the button, the locking button, but I'm used to the channel locking style ones anyways. So, but yeah, seems great. So yeah, guys, just a quick haul for you guys. Um, you know, I, I, I always find it hard to pass a Home Depot, especially when I have time on the weekends and things like that. Um, let me know how the video quality is with the new camera. I mean, I like it. It's, it's smaller, so I could fit it around, you know, maybe in areas a little tighter and things like that. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how the camera is. We're slowly improving the channel and all that stuff. Like I said, I got this camera for free pretty much, so, you know, we'll see what it is. If anything, maybe I'll give it to one of my kids or something and they could use it to uh, shoot video. My daughter likes to make videos and things like that. But yeah, guys, appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget about those tool giveaways, the December tool giveaway. I got them up there. You can see them. Got the second place right there, the pliers. And then the first place, the Milwaukee uh, Drill and uh, Hex Impact battery. So make sure you guys get in on that. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Appreciate all the support. As always, like, comment, subscribe. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Signing out. So I'm back at the house, guys. Sorry, it's kind of dark. Just pulled into the garage. Got to give you some bonus video here. So got the live stream on the 22nd. Just wanted to mention too, we got some extra stuff. I uh, my Snap-on rep threw in a few things too. So we got uh, some Snap-on racing hats, couple of them, and then we got some we got some beanies. He threw in some Snap-on beanies too. So you guys stay tuned. Make sure you're there for the live stream to win this stuff. Make sure you guys are there. Be there, be square. Signing out.